Hello YouTube and fellow Terminator fans, welcome back to my channel Quella John, I'm your host John and today I'm doing the um, the smashed head for the uh, diorama base on my one as you can see it's heavily heavily weathered uh, the neck has all been cut the pistons are all broken at the ends, I'm afraid um, and you've got all the wires sticking out the bottom part for the, uh, for the actual neck on this, I use the inside neck, I use the 20 mil, 25 mil um, metal flexi conduit that matches with the, the spine I've got inside the uh, thoracic cage, just for the continuity. But it, it blended in well, so I use that. Um, I've done all the, all the jaw has, um, all, the, all the pistons are, are just smashed off, so the jaw will just flop open. And for the eyes, I've done them very, very milky. They are incredibly milky eyes because this one has absolutely no life left in it at all it's completely separate from the battery so totally and utterly dead no power source at all to this one the teeth i used um i used the i had to use those the uh the original teeth that came with the the, the uh our kit for the bottom for that that middle tooth and that line that goes all the way around <laughs> i had to put that in there and the top teeth are from the um the tester kits, the tester run they did, when they did a test run, I remember I got two or two issues of those. Now, if you go back on my videos, you'll be able to see those, the comparison ones I did for the test run and the, and the one we actually got. These teeth were so much better. I mean, if you they, they split in the middle. I split mine when I just I bent them and they split. You could have easily made these look like the Schwarzenegger teeth, if that's the one you were going for. Because um, on this one, I'm not sure whether they were going for, um, Hachette, whether they were going for the first film terminator or the second film terminator um it looks like the kit for the first film but then they gave us the the plasma rifle and the plasma rifle didn't appear in the first film they were all carrying them in the second film but not in the first so this is this is the the, the look i've got for when the uh, the my t800 is actually holding this one in the in your uh, alas poor urex sort of sort of look just holding him in his hands looking into his face on the base it's going to look like this totally smashed open now i had no idea what the inside of this is going to look like so it's just it's just a kit bash it's just bunging stuff in there that made it look like it actually functions because you've got the, these two holes at the top the two circles at the top i've put two barrels on the inside there that one um, i used the bit from the base of the neck and the join apart for the head and the um and just put some pistons in there the eye pistons the eye hoses come straight up into it same on the other side but you can't really see that on this now because i've built it all the entire inside are covered in um aluminium mesh just to make it look like it actually did something and it also showed the edges frayed a lot better when you did that so the edges all frayed up so much better and i cut it with a dremel i was going to use the, i was going to cut this part here across there and, and up there and just fold that part up so it looked like it had been hit from underneath on the side and lifted up but this this metal is, is unforgiving that would have just snapped because most of this I drilled partially and just snapped it off with some pliers but it does look so cool and that line on the base is just going to look absolutely amazing I mean I will do some pictures of it I changed these hoses on my one. I did do a video and uploaded it, and um, I didn't. I wasn't happy with it, so I took it down almost immediately. Um, I did apologise to Ryan for that because he put a lot of work into it. Um, I just didn't like the footage I shot. Uh, I did try to stop him uploading it, but he'd already edited it, and so we, we we went with putting it up. But I wasn't happy with it, and I did apologise. So I'm really sorry, Ryan. If you could do this one for me, that'd be great because I'm entirely sure he wants to work with Uncle Judd again. <coughs> um, yeah, so this I think it looks quite cool. I think it looks really cool. All smashed, the neck is all floppy. It looks, I think it looks really, really good. I mean, I'm holding this all by hand, by the way. I'm not using my uh, thingy tripod. Yeah, the insides of this thing look really, really good. It does look heavily detailed. I've just spun any old stuff that I had in there. Oh, it's all kit bash stuff, all bunged in. I mean, this hose here, the one that's sticking out there, that goes to the uh, to the side pistons, this one, 
this one on the other side actually goes to it and obviously there's no side here so that's been ripped off but i did it so it looked like um it had been shot from below or the side with something really heavy which just literally smashed a hole in the side and ripped the head clean off so this would have been over on the floor somewhere else away from the body that's why it's all torn out yes yeah, kind of cool okay i'll put some i'll i'll see if i can get right to actually put some bits and photos on there and uh and upload it for me and if he does i will see you guys in the next video stay safe and have fun bye for now